Welcome to the villages. They call it Disneyland for the elderly here. Manicured greens, beach tennis, a class or club for everyone. But it's not all exactly pleasant though. And there's a warning sign for Donald Trump. Once reliable elderly voters turning out for his rival. Why do you think that's happening? I think that the animosity between the left and right has gone way beyond limits. I think there's no, no way we can ever talk to each other anymore. The, the idea of sitting down and having a conversation is no longer here. Ginny insists the new threat you know, is small fry. This is Trump territory. You know, we have 600, 700 golf cart parades for Trump. And then two weeks later, 100 show up for Biden. And they're doing riding with Biden because they can't do the Trump train. Down the road, though, a very different tune. Who's going to vote for Joe Biden? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many for Trump? Oh, so Biden has it. You wear your heart on your golf cart here, and sometimes at a cost. You get yelled at, you get cussed at. Why can't you see yourself voting for Trump? I just don't like the man, I don't trust him. He's a bigot, he's a bully, and I don't like bullies. And how big is the pandemic, do you think, in people's decisions? Oh, big, big. He did not react to the pandemic well. This is a pretty big mountain for Democrats to climb. And the majority of people you speak to here think Donald Trump will win locally. But what's surprising is the number you hear from that think he could also lose the election. But Hispanic voters are also key. While Trump has been rallying Cubans, Biden's been focused on Puerto Ricans in places like Kissimmee. You know, I think that a lot of, a lot of minorities will vote for Biden not necessarily because they agree with his policies or him or the Democratic Party, but just to get Trump out of office. You think it will be different to 2016? Yeah. Why? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, because it's been rough. However extreme Florida can look, the margins are nearly always razor thin. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Florida.